playtime stories, the asylum, you want to turn away now. Otherwise, let's go. So what you guys are going to do is you're going to set up a base. Okay. To set up a base, you take the topmost card, Eric, and place it on the A. And then you take the other cards until it ends and spray them out like this. Is this random? No. Oh. No. That's why you can only play this game once. Think of it as going back in time to stop evil Eric. That's what OC Brad says. Yes! Yeah. Do we have to stop him? Can I side with evil Eric? You'll have to wait to see. Alright, so now you stop. So then what you also do when you first enter a location, the time captain, who we'll say is currently Eric, picks up this card yeah, and reads the other side. Uh, I gave it to him. And you're the time marshal? I'm the time lord. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So then you pick up the base card, and then you read it. So this is always what happens when you guys enter a location. A soft and restful voice fills the air blanketing the small metallic noises that you heard upon arriving in this room. You are 42 seconds late. Try to manage your time better in the future. That said, welcome, agents. Oh, I am Laura. I have a deep, soothing, masculine <laughs> voice. The consortium has deemed you apt to undergo your first transfer. Congratulations. The transfer caissons are ready. Before taking your place inside them, meet with Bob, your master instructor, and please, Follow his instructions. It is this far in the future and Bob is still a name. Bob is three letters of perfection. Bob stands big for old big well, old the three letters in total. Badass. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. Um, <laughs> now take turns revealing and reading aloud cards B through G one by one. Why don't you go first since I'm the time captain? Yeah. I cannot read. I'm gonna stumble over this. So There's a lot of reading in this game. <clears throat> this is Bob, eh? Your small group moves into the room with two emotions crashing together with every step. Excitement over your first exposure to this technology that you've been hearing about since the start of your training, and impatience to leave this omnipresent base and discover other worlds, both old and new, to travel through the ages and across the galaxy. In quotations. Hey guys, it's not that we're in a hurry, but don't drag your feet. Barks Bob is a greeting. Eric, see? I like Bob. Yeah, Bob's great. Bob's great. Who's Bob. this guy, though? That's Jim. Your mission, normally reserved for yellow-ranked agents, comes from the consortium, and your performance will serve as an end-of-cycle examination. Your grade here will therefore have an impact on the rest of your career. Your mission is to prevent the creation of a temporal fault. One tip. Keep the number of runs to a minimum, as each new transfer costs a bundle and, which, and will diminish your success. When all these nutters stop playing with time, it'll be a vacation for us. Come on, let's go! Into your caisson so that Laura uh, can take care of the rest. I, on the other hand, have other fish to fry. Classic Bob. Bob sounds like the villain. Bob? The jury's out on Bob. That's I don't correct. know why I hired him. What is that word? Caisons? It's just shifting letters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is that caisson? Caissons. Caissons? Okay. Uh, as you approach the caissons, Laura's voice becomes muted. You're Laura. Agents, <laughs> seat yourself in your caissons. Once you exit, you will have to use the timeline to manage your time in your transfer zone. Ide you ideally, you make this trip only once, but if you run out of time, you'll return here to undergo a new transfer to the same place at the same instant. This is the very principle of the time log transfer. Once you exit, you will use the timeline to manage your time in time for your time transfer zone. Damn, that's a lot of time. Of note, you won't complete it in the first attempt. Oh, you say. Base E, I guess, goes back to James <laughs> because he didn't actually read base D. <laughs> He's Laura. No, your girlfriend's Laura. And Laura sounds like this. <laughs> what do we got this here? is all too real. <laughs> um... Your uh, caissons <laughs> light up as you enter them, then emit a multitude of high-pitched sounds. Laura's voice manages to be heard above it all nonetheless. You will be transferred to 1921 in uh, what the inhabitants of the time call a psychiatric asylum. We have, a, we have little reliable information as to what is taking place there, but we can confirm the possible creation of a temporal fault. Your mission is to prevent its creation. Uh, statistics on your mission receptacles. So yeah, this is the these are the stats you guys will have during the encounter. So 
Your green is your deafness and agility. Your yellow is your glibness. And your orange is your combat strength. I love being glib. Yeah. As might be expected, not all receptacles are equal when faced with adversity. And those, uh, those you'll inhabit at Beauregard Asylum are in slightly bad shape, which is why they haven't been placed there. Wait, why they haven't, not haven't. <laughs> why they, they've been placed there. Uh, you will thus have to deal as best as you can with their issues. It's hard to do a voice and read. Yeah. It's called voice acting. It's called reading out loud. Your own voice is a voice. Never mind, it's a bad joke. Before your transfer, please follow the instructions below. <clears throat> Final preparations. Place the item cards face down on their space. So you'll take those item cards and you'll place them up here. Which item? These ones? Yeah. There's just so no, not one of the, no, we'll take them all at once. Oh, one, two, three. Yeah. Four. Here, I can, here, actually, I can help you guys do this part. We can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> We need help, Laura. Don't worry, Laura's here. How does that work? Now, here are your item cards. These go into the item space. Oh, I see. Laura's watching the stream and she's like, I don't sound like that. The four plan cards face up on their dedicated spaces. The group token on the day room, the area in which you'll arrive. The time token on 25 TU, 30 if you, will, if you have only three agents. So there's the group marker. You want to place that in the day room on this map. Day room. The five mission successful failed cards on their dedicated space face down. Is that it? Yep. All right, James. G. Laura's voice starts to be drowned out by the deafening sounds of the surrounding machines. <laughs> this is just all he does. He doesn't read the rest of it. Yeah. Those are the machines and like electrical effects and yeah, drowning it out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, sci-fi spinning noise. Yeah. Your transfer will happen shortly. Be sure to note uh, this is vitally important information. According to sources of dubious trustworthiness, she is wordy, it seems that a secret society is hiding in the building. If the information to take place, to do that, you must locate uh, the zikun and on location... You should be able to find help, but well, your receptacles buzzers, isn't. It, it sounds isn't. like a robot throwing up. Choose a receptacle, then place uh, their life points on that card. Keep the icon reference card close at hand. Determine who will be time captain. This person closes the base, places these cards in the, uh, the next to the board. And then opens the following area. The day room, placing the cards face down. The time captain then reads card A aloud, and this is how the adventure begins. Cool. So, one of you guys, you guys each get to choose two characters from this pile. Two? Two, because you have two receptacles. Ah. Of note, so their stats are here. That's their agility, their glibness, their combat strength. This is their resistance to how good they are at not taking damage, and that's their health. Okay. They each all have a unique ability as well. Um, him. He's not even looking at the uh, nope. other side. I'm picking one based off looks and one based off stats. That's fair. I suppose Eric should, Eric the same. should get a pick now. Do so you want to see his stats? Oh, he's French. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Cannibalism. What's his ability? He can't see someone die can't stand so when he's faced with an enemy who has only one or two shields he's paralyzed and unable to fight it's let great. me help by being someone who eats people if she gets to kill them all right james your choice again so then what you guys are also going to do is you'll flip over to the other side mm -hmm. you'll grab hearts tokens equal to their health so james you're gonna need two heart tokens for this guy <laughs> the left <laughs> what? he's gonna Those quote oh. <laughs> it's the worst thing i've ever he's read like, yum gur yum slurp gur Come on, breathe. And then just yeah, place them on your guy. Don't be an idiot. And then just choose a color to represent them. So Eric, you're going to need two hearts for this one. Oh, she's pink. And do the small one, because you'll use the big one on the board. Okay. And then move those ones up there. Yeah. So this is interesting thus far. It's a mix of so sort of serious and then horrific. Yeah. 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 Sorry, what, what is the... That is agility and deafness. Literally chose someone who is just 
flat across the it's board. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty, it's pretty fine. It's always, I always like seeing the choices the players make. Eric drawn to cannibalism. Saw this happening. Why don't we close this base? To close a base, Eric, you just go like take this, put that on top, and then go through. Okay. Just so then, and then just put it to the side of the board. All right. And this one. And then too. you can open up the day room. Here, I'll, I'll take the. I'll do this stuff for you. Thank you. And then open up the day room. Huh. That's a. In um. Pretty good ability. What's that game that came out and it had um. It's all about running your four different utopias and... Is it a board game or a video game? Board game. Euphoria? Euphoria. Yeah. In Euphoria, there was a release that allowed you to be a cannibal character. Oh, yeah. I rock the game with that character. Yeah, you're just a cannibal at heart. It's so true. Is it because it's the only meat that can consent? Yes. Right, who are you thinking about, James? I'm thinking about this chick whose ability is just turn one of her dice into a success. Yeah, seems but good. That's only on bows. On glib, yeah. So not in combat. Um, glib. I, I would, you know, this guy has four toughness. That's really good. Someone having high toughness is good, but that guy can't kill people. He's not a closer. No, I really, I like how agile this guy is because he's not agile at all. You know what, Eric? You pick first. That's a that's a lady. Oh, Grandma Jones, I love her. Yeah, I was thinking about her too, based off bitter. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, relatable. <laughs> her description is amazing. Why don't I choose her? Of note, there's also two different resources in this one. There are bullets and cocaine doses. Is cocaine how you feel your karate? Yes. <laughs> this guy looks super sad. I find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. I'm dying. Are you choosing him? Or you yes. Cool. I right, want you grab three hearts for him. So I want to be the cannibal, and I want to be uh, like discount Picasso. Yeah. I love What's his it. ability. I mean, um, like his uh, personality. Oh no, paralyzing delusion. Um, he must be placed or moved to a space containing at least one agent. If you don't, the party loses one time. Mm. Uh, and yet his paraly paralyzing belief disappears in combat situations where he shows an, un an uncommon celerity. Thus, he's the only one able to flee from a lock card. Yes. That's actually really good with this guy, because this guy shouldn't be traveling alone. No. Nice. Because he can't fight alone. It's down to uh, Mademoiselle Du Dom. I think. Ashen Fang, I agree. And suffering with, makes you, you a better hero. You don't need two fours. I would take her. The glibness can be helpful. Okay. And right, then I'll take these guys. So now you guys are in the day room. James, you are now time captain. Chad, how's it going? Why don't you wow. grab the time dice? Time die. And why don't you read A out loud? Nope. A. That's B. That's A. Yep. You find yourself in the day room of an asylum. It is the end of the afternoon. The room is calm with a gramophone filling the place with sweet music. The low sun illuminates all with an amber light. The nurse in charge of the hall stands near the door. Behind her, a man is very focused on his chessboard. In the background, enjoying the light with the lar or of the large windows, a young woman paints frantically. She throws you a furtive, throws you furtive, disturbed, disturbed glances. Blech. Sitting in the corner of the room, a man gives you a slight wave. I am with Ashen Fang. I desperately want to go to this asylum. So luckily you're there. So what you guys do now <laughs> is you take your, your receptacles mm -hmm. and place them in the area you want to visit. We should... These are the receptacles? Yes. These two should be paired up, green and blue. Okay. We, we, ha we can visit together? Yes. Well, so you guys just choose where you want to go. 
I don't know. I feel like Mitchell over here in the corner is a little bit uh, too oh, chill for me. Can. So of note, if you guys do not look at a card together, you cannot exactly read the card out, but you can paraphrase what you saw to the okay. person. Yeah. Anyway, we can prove the audio on James. Yeah, well, James, why don't you turn yourself up a bit? You're five. Like that? Yeah. Am so I on? Is. Yeah, you're on. Just his beard muffling him. Yeah, well, let us know if that's better. Yeah, okay. yeah, that seems good. Okay. Uh, maybe a bit more. How about that? Yeah, that seems good. <clears throat> okay. All right, where do you guys want to go? Or do you mean help me read better? Is that what you meant? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to... Yeah, of course I want to talk to him. But I want to talk. I don't want to punch him. So she's going to go there. You can pick where these guys go together. Well, just in case we need to punch the... Um... Nurse. And eat her. And then where do you want the cannibal to go? Oh. Um. This guy looks pretty succulent. So what you guys do now is you guys take the card that you are interacting with. You guys want oh, to vote. What about? Oh. Nice. Well, you guys take the individual ones first and then do the other one together. All right. And if you need anything, let me know. Sorry, if you can pick up this guy and read that. This can now happen at the same time. That's 17. <laughs> there was a 24 in this corner. 24. Can I see it? Yep. Oh, it's been so long since I've played this game. You can repeat it face up. You can share that information. Yeah. Uh, I can get you. I can get you another one. You can just write on this nice paper. Okay. This heavy stock. Uh, my pencils are. There you go. Thank you. Erica's writing verbatim the card. <laughs> yeah. And then you just put the card back down. Um, so now you guys can talk about what you guys saw. <laughs> In this game, though. So what did you see, what did you see, James? I saw a man who knows all. Literally, he just ranted about how much he knows and into conspiracy, and he said he stole a key from them. I talked to a man who's convinced that they're taking everyone, um, including certain chess pieces which move uh, on diagonals, and we need the Tears of the Manticore. Why don't you guys, uh, re you can read the day room B out loud because you guys are both there. Bishops and manticores. Yeah. Is that magpie? What? No, that's just my guts. <laughs> well, you can read that one out loud. You aren't going to ask me the day's schedule again, are you? It's the same every day. For the moment, you can take advantage of the day room and of the promenade, and then you'll head back to your dormitory at the end of the day. If you want to look for me later, I'll be in the infirmary. My name's Josephine. Whoa. Why? How do you spell that? Joe dash S E with um an upward uh tick. And then Fiend? P H I N E. She she specified the P H I. Yeah. So now. Josephine. Why? Why? So now that your turn. Now, that was a turn is done. So now, for one time unit, you guys can either do a test in the area you're in, or move to a new uh, location in the area, or move to a new location. Do you want to finish up this room before we move on to the promenade? What? Okay, we can do a test. What's a test? So if, if your room has a test, none of your guys' rooms have seen tests. Okay. So you can either do a test, move upon in the area, 
or um, move to a new area. And that's there. The promenade is what she recommended. So we'd have to go here and then to the promenade. You can also not, so for one time unit, you can do a test, move in the location or do nothing. And then for no time unit, except for the time dice, you can change location. Ah. Okay. I say we finish up the last two areas. Okay. We can do that. What? And sure, then, I'll eat the young lady. So that's two time units? No, that's just one. Oh. oh. Everyone does this at one time, so you guys can all move. So these guys can also move if you guys want to look at a card together. Do you want to talk to the man? Well, you guys, oh yeah, I guess you can also sure. just... Let's talk to the man. I mean, you'll just know what he knows. So that costs one time unit? Now you guys can do that. Do the individual ones first. You're expecting the picture to talk to you? Yeah, I didn't even know where I moved. <laughs> I was scared road rager followed me home after he followed me to a fast food restaurant and antagonizing me to get out of my car and get my ass kicked. Jesus, Chad. That's horrifying. That is. Well, why did you cut him off? <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> I love this game. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> why did you hit his dog? Yeah, why did you back into him a little bit and then drive away? Come on, Chad. Yeah, why didn't you finish him? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Was he in a truck? And she has height by radius. I'm going to confuse stories here. I'm going to start writing notes about Chad's road right yeah. here. But where is the temporal fault? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he was in a truck. Of course he was. Okay. All right, would you guys like to move to a new location? Or talk about what you saw, that's also important. Oh, right, I apologize. James took the notes on this guy already. Yeah, the panelist man knows all. Classic James notes. <laughs> yeah, tell us what his license plate said. Uh, do you guys want to go to a new location or talk about what you guys saw in this area? <laughs> it's, just, it's just straight up like BLX 523. <laughs> no, it's not against the rules. I'm sure it is. Giving out a license plate number on stream. It probably no. actually might be. Yeah. Well. Gooch for. Oh, it's already been said. Gooch for. Uh, do you guys want to talk about what you guys saw? Uh, I got this. It's a newspaper. The crazies escape. The crazies from Beauregard. Beauregard. Interesting. The Humbert trial. Oh man, this is actually. I didn't realize I can actually read this. <laughs> I thought it was just like art. Because I looked up here and I was like, that's art. Am I allowed to read the items he has? Yes. Okay. What happened to Gooch 1, 2, and 3? <laughs> he probably wrecked them. Yeah. Lost them due to road rage. Uh... Mm hmm Yeah. Court cases. Did he have a tribal tattoo? I bet he did. What did you find, Eric? Uh, so I found a number of chemical formulas, which I quickly jotted down. Most of them are um, chemistry, physics, and then a little bit of things like radius and circumference of cones. Um, the, she was also painting a mount manticore. She also had very bold southeast then clockwise. The image of a star where there were five points, all of them leading into a central point. Um, uh, an entire formula that was pretty much destroyed except a for... A star of five points? Leading. A five-point star with lines leading into the center, kind of like a starfish. And she had an entire chemical formula on the top of the thing, which was mostly obscured except for the phrase H2O. And... What does she need water for? And a series of... Um, a and a series of pluses followed by another symbol, which I also wrote down. Right, what do you guys want to do now? Can we not share notes? Can no, you we can not, share notes. I can't you can share notes. Yeah. Sure. You just can't like tell them verbatim. You can't read the card aloud to them. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
just a dick. <laughs> The Humpert Trial. Interesting. Hi, right, uh, what are you guys planning now? Uh, I think we're gonna RTD and go to the Promenade. Sure, so how it works is you just roll the die. You spend two time units. One, two. And you guys go to the Promenade. So we'll close this location. Yeah. Do you wanna close the location, Eric? I agree with Ash and Fang. Yeah. The correct thing to do is always to... Um, Tight face? Yeah. If you're really uh, squeamish about it, there's certain chemicals you can have first that will help out. Yeah. And then open up, if you're going to the promenade, you just find the promenade in there, which is conveniently just on top. We didn't want to stay in the empty hallway for a moment. You can't go into a place that doesn't have a name, unfortunately. Then we can't go anywhere because they're not directly connected. You just time... That's why it takes two time units as opposed to just... Game over. <laughs> That must terrify them. That's why whenever I, whoops. Nope, that's fine. Those are from the promenade. That's why whenever I um, uh, get uh, rapiers or a pays sent in, I have to list them as sporting goods and get certain things brought with them or else uh, customs actually charges them as weapons as opposed to sporting equipment. So now you guys see this. Mm -hmm. These can only be visited if you have that symbol or something flips it over. There are 12 trees. Eric, you can, you read the promenade. Just so you're aware. We're going to see 12 trees. Interesting. Time changed. Despite the glaring sun, the wind whips at your faces and the cold chills your bones. The yard is surrounded by walls high enough to drive any thought of breaking out from your mind. To your left, on a small patch of grass, specially set up for it, three men seem to have just finished a croquet game. In the back of the yard, a large gate is guarded by two watchmen, and through it you can spy a park and its tree-bordered paths. There are twelve trees. And to your right, near the wall, a patient in a tuxedo spins around, improvising some sort of choreography. Hmm, where do you guys want to go? Yep. Yep. Totally true, Ash and Fang. What? I believe that of you. I feel like the Croquet Gang needs to double down. Needs our double down. Team. Absolutely. Now the Guardsmen, I'm thinking, might need a bit of biting. Okay, I'll dance. Why not? All right. Uh, you guys will do your individual ones first. So if there's one of these, you set that up underneath it with the number of blank shields that are listed. Am I reading this correctly that you require this to be able to beat that? Yes, that's the test for it. So if you want to do a test, you roll those dice. Because that stat. Earn, that is honestly, like I'm not laughing out loud, but I just want you to know that that is one of the funniest things I have read in chat in a long time. And I love it. Hmm. Having Patrick resetting lines helps the atmosphere. Yeah, just the crazy person in the room. Yeah. yeah. Now I'm laughing about it because I'm just picturing how someone would have come to this decision. Yeah. Oh. I should write that down. Because James just doesn't automatically know about it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you can tell him in words as well. What about dance? That also works. All right, what did you guys see? I saw a fellow agent dancing in the streets. He knows how to activate a time fault. He lost the artifact. If we find it, bring it back to him. Can we trust him? Undoubtedly. Did you see his dance? 
It was the secret dance. What's the artifact? Doesn't say. No, it does say. There's no, a doesn't. picture of it. Oh, that is the artifact. <laughs> I thought it was just like a non sequitur. No, if there's anything on there, yeah. That's... Oh, it's a plunger. I guess he's not a fellow agent at all. Seems real crazy. <laughs> okay. I legitimately thought it was just like a mechanic. No. I was like, oh, intriguing. No. I want to believe. So, um, at Promenade C, we need to be really glib, but we also need to have key number six. Either or, I think. Or is it both? I haven't played this in a while. Oh, yeah, you need both, yeah. Boom. Nate, Eric nailed it. Now, why don't you guys look at Promenade B together? Would you? Uh, sure. Okay, before I read. You. You. <clears throat> One of the three croquet players greets you and invites you to come play with them. That's under not the, a greeting. Under the unwavering gaze of the, the nearby watchman. Hey, there you are. How about a quick game? Yes, there you we are. You want to join the game for shields and agility. Uh, pass the test to reveal blue. So you put down four shields there. So now you guys can choose to either change location or do an action within the location, move within the location, or just do nothing. So we can't... Well, we can't... Moving would be dumb. Yeah. Because unless we just wanted to do like a 100% run for each of us. And uh, do you have any agility? I have no agility. I am quite agile. Okay. Then I say we do the test for one time unit. These guys can also move. So, for example, if you guys want to look at what the other person saw, this is a good time to do it. Certainly. I would like to check out the plunger. And then if what you can do with this guy is you can attempt an agility test. And that cost one? Yeah, with the one that you've already moved. You oh. already moved it down one? No, I yeah, just you move it. it down. No. So then you roll three dice, and every start... <laughs> that counts. <laughs> Aww. Every start you roll removes a shield. You did wow. it. Wow. Rip. So remove all the shields. And Did I mention that Picasso is great at croquet? Croquet. <laughs> great at no, that's croquet. The other guy. That's croquet. Uh, and then I believe it revealed something? Yeah, yeah. it reveals blue. You can read that out loud. You guys are both there. I crush my opponents. Who don't seem to like that very much. Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Okay. We just pick it up and read it? Does yeah, it? Okay. it's revealed. Yeah. I crush my opponents. Who don't seem to like that very much. In frustration, one of them smacks his mallet right into his neighbor's head. Within a few seconds, the scene degenerates into a brawl. I will take item 20. Is it a plunger? No, that's a item croquet four. mallet recovered. Oh, can I tell him? Yep. A croquet mallet recovered from the ground during the melee in the promenade yard. During a combat roll, the owner of the mallet can roll one extra die. Slip this card under your receptacle so that only the mallet is showing. So you can choose which per, uh, person wants it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think that she's like a pop icon. Oh, yeah. Definitely yeah. over time. Uh, if you guys want to look at the other cards, you can do it now. Otherwise... Yes, it was. I just beat up the gang from Clockwork Orange. And stole their croquet mallet. I think you guys are just taking individual notes. Yeah. Hey, what do you guys want to do now? Move. To a new location? Do you want to go somewhere we're not supposed to be? Where are we not supposed to be? Either the infirmary or the kitchen. We were told to only do day room, promenade, or dormitory. What's going, Phaedra? Hey, Phaedra! Where do you guys want to go? Um, 
home. I don't like it here. Yeah. Take me back to the future where things are good, healthcare is free, and disease is eliminated. <laughs> no, you stay in the asylum. I miss Bob. Bob wasn't real, man. I miss Bob. Yeah, you realize we're actually just crazies, and I got a croquet mallet. I'm buying right into this. I, does this mean I have split personality disorder? <laughs> yes. Uh, bu -bu 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 I feel... If you feel sick, we should go to the infirmary. I feel like, where's there likely to be a plunger? The kitchen. What do you need to plunge in a kitchen? Usually, it's 1921, like a sink or um, like a faucet. The only thing I've ever had clog anything is a turd. Kitchen. I've never turded in the kitchen. Pooped is the word. I believe it is. Now, the kitchen <laughs> is the furthest away from us, unfortunately. That doesn't count for time. Yeah, it's just, just moving to a location. Let's roll the dice. Yeah. Yeah, roll the dice. And, well, do you want to go? I'm curious about our fellow agent who seems crazy. He's, he has a stupid name. Moonstep? Yeah. Moonstep. Like, our names are real names. No, these are the people we inhabit. Then what's your name? What's my name? Yeah. Bear Claws! It's <laughs> a good name. Wow. What's yours? Agent Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you, Bradley. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I wouldn't mind checking out the kitchen. Cool kitchen. Yeah. Yep. Time captain, roll that die. Two. That's how your time captain do. So of note, there is one three one one, and the rest are twos. So let's close this location. Bum, 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 bum. Nope, other way. Bum. Actually, if you just give it to me, I'll close it for you, and then you guys can just open it. Okay. That'll be easier. Oh, man. So, Elaki reminded me. What were we saying last time? Gay for the gun show? Gay for guns. Gay for guns. Gay that's for guns. right. That's our new... That's We're going to make a calendar all about men's arms. Nice. That's what we're going to call it. Where does this go? Uh, oh, it should be, I think, here, right? James, are you at 19 time right now? Or we're at 19 time. Okay. I'll open up the kitchen. We were the at 21, one. and he rolled two? Yeah. I thought, okay. Damn fine coffee. I like to give myself a little present every day. Alright. Uh, James, you read the kitchen. The kitchen, the kitchen. After having wandered for some time in the corridors, you reach a room next to an empty refectory? The kitchen. A rather unpleasant cabbagey smell fills this room. Edged with uh, work areas that are covered in pots, pans, and other cookware. To the left, a man in his 50s turns to you and begins to smile after he sees your group. It's because I am have no face. He's it's not because you're a beautiful woman. No, it's... With erotomania. mania. Is that... Oh my god. Yes. No okay. way to fuck. I literally chose her because she was glib and could make glib. Probably they didn't call her the thing. sex glib lady, though. Yeah. But, yeah, erotomania. That's a real issue. Uh, by the back wall, two men are washing dishes and pay you no attention. In the far corner, a man and a woman talk to one another in a low voice. That's suspicious as fuck. We, we're the mustache team, Eric. I need you here. Oh, right. Mustache team. You do realize we have, like, the same mustache. I think you might be the real Picasso. Come back to us. Oh, she should have hearts on her, shouldn't she? Yeah, she should have two. Where are your other guys going? <laughs> hey, JJ Walking, how's it going? Uh, I feel like these fuckers who are paying me no mind will pay my erotomania lady mind. That guy looks like good eating. Go for it. Read your cards. Okay. 
I have to read that card together. Have you heard the latest? The two of them were found doing something shady. Really? No. But where? In the park's kiosk. Can you believe it? A doctor and a nurse. The man suddenly turns to you. What are you doing here? Get back to your quarters. I spit on it. Doctor and a nurse in the where? In the park's kiosk. Doing something real shady. Alright. What are you going to see in B and C? This guy has a key on his belt that green man needs to steal. Okay, does it have some shields? Oh. No. No. So this one's different. That's excellent. Um, this man needs to either get glibbed, which... I can glib. And I'm willing to help. Um, can you help glib? We can yep. both roll glibs. Yeah, you can both roll for tests. Okay. Uh, because we don't have any nose candy, and I want some meat. Are you serious? You're talking to me about nose candy? Yeah. You're talking to me about nose candy? <laughs> yes, he, doesn't have, he doesn't have a nose. <laughs> When we get back to the future. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for you guys spend a time unit? Yeah, yes. we're going to spend a... So what's everybody doing? You're going there. I'll come with. Yeah. I'll go there and you can go there. Or this person likes to attempt to... Yeah, I think both of us want to... Oh! But, you, but because this person's not doing anything, you could do the action for this time unit. Yeah. So you could roll your two dice for clues? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, so you just remove one shield. All right, now you guys can look at this, and and you can look at C. Ah, you again. Yeah, these ones you can even kind of, like, summarize out loud for chat as well. Ah, you again. You're really inseparable. I suppose you've come to beg me for another scrap of meat to feed the cats in the park. Well, that's not a problem, as long as well, you have... Well, not turn both cards over since they've both seen. Yeah, that's what they're doing now. The yeah. man leans in and continues in a low voice. Two doses of nose candy. That's cocaine. It is. A little bit of cocaine. What's on yours, Eric? Get out of here, you crazies! Where do you think you are? We're working here! You see, tied to one of the men's belts, a large metal key. To steal this key from him, you need to get at least two on a single roll. It doesn't matter how good I am. If you do, take item six. <gasps> I need you to steal that, because only one attempt can be made. Or will be expelled. There might be an item that helps us make these rolls. Do we want to wait and possibly come back? You or roll do we want three. To try it? What are the no, chances? No, no, you roll I roll one. Die. one. Oh. I have to get a two on it. Oh, which I is yeah. a s one out of six. I can give it a shot, or we can try and find an item or something that gives us an extra success somewhere in the building. Yeah, let's hold off on that. Let's just glib this guy right now. Okay, kitchen C. Yeah, I need key six and sex glib lady to persuade the guards to kitchen. Play. Oh yeah. C key six and so I uh, roll three glibs. Yep, you roll three glibs. Two kapow on dice. Uh, I'd like to Would that that work to that way? Success. Sure. Uh, no, he rolls all dice for the character, but gets one attempt. Oh, because oh, then I might do it. Did you read it wrong, or just? I thought it was. So you need to roll if you do. You roll a check. Oh, you need to get on a single roll of the three dice. Okay. Yeah. Yes, the single roll of the three That's dice. That's how I read it. Yeah. So you remove all those? Yes. So remove the shields. What do you get if you pass it? Yes. You get item what? 12? Item 12. Meat, 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 meat. Two pieces of meat. Yes. Two pieces of meat received in the kitchen. You can eat them to recover two hearts. I'll be Would dead. You, are you going to attempt to do a... Uh... I think you should attempt if you roll all three. I mean, if time fails, we can always come back. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. I have to get two stars on a single dice. Yeah, no. on, a single, on a single roll. On so single in this roll. three dice, there needs to be two stars. Eric, you mother... We're expelled from the kitchen. So you guys are expelled from the kitchen. And we can't come Take back. Take a yellow token and put it on the kitchen. So Where now was guys... this, by the way? That was 18? 19. 18. should be on 18 now, because you spent a time unit to do yes, these actions. Yes, we did. 
So now you guys roll the time die and choose a new room you guys want to go into. Infirmary? Infirmary. Ooh, three time. That That's a good, good roll. roll. It's a bad roll. No, I like to spend time. Time is for spending. It's true. All right, why don't you guys set up the infirmary? Eric, you're now time captain. Ooh, look at all these nurses. Wow. <laughs> that was meant to be a cannibal? Uh, you get a read infirmary. Roll the time die again. Did y'all spend the time for the characters to move to the rooms? Yeah, we rolled the time yeah. die. Oh, and then, yeah, to do the movement? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, read infirmary. Infirmary. I like that version. Infirmary. You cross the main corridor of the asylum and then open a massive door over which a sign reads, Infirmary. Access forbidden to hysterics and agitated patients. Behind the door, a large room holds a few beds on which patients are lying. At the bedside of one of them, an assistant nurse administers treatment under the attention of Josephine, the nurse you previously met in the, in the day room. <laughs> Directly in front of you, an orderly stares at you continuously and smiles widely at you, no doubt an invitation to speak. On the right, a large armoire filled with medications of all kinds catches your attention. That's nose candy territory. Let's go to nose. Um, the I, nose knows? I don't think we should place anybody here this time. I think we should check these three and then do that one because she told us not to go places. That's Josephine. No, that's Josephine. No, that's the nurse assistant. Josephine is watching. Oh. Yeah. Josephine is C. So same plan, but just not, yeah, yeah. not the card. But that guy looks watching. highly edible. And that guy looks like he wants to talk. Okay, well, I'll talk. Because I'm glib. Yep. And then we're going to nose candy it. Yeah, we'll just... All right, we'll use I want to start with this to see if it's nose candy. Sure, That's nose good. candy. If, if you, you own key 24... I do. Take item 7. It's a plunger. Nose candy. Nose candy. Three doses of nose candy. Here. I don't want to be caught with this. <laughs> okay. So place three blue on this card. A little bit of cocaine, a little bit of cocaine. All right, now why don't you guys each read your individuals? Let's roll the time die again. Oh, no. Everyone, yeah. you can read yours. I'll wait for you there. Oh, <gasps> uh, dark red. Can you place it here? Wow. What is the point of that? Uh, it shows you have that symbol, so if you go to that location, you can actually access it. Do you like those sounds? I do. Infirmary. Like it was upside down? It is. So you don't think you can reveal it? What? Can you read it and say reveal? No, it doesn't. It just says place yeah. upside so down. Yeah, so that's, yeah. Okay. What's happening? What did you see, Eric? Uh, Josephine uh, scares the nurse assistant who wants to meet us in the um, uh, dormitory later. This is the nurse who fucked the doctor. What happened on yours, James? Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the doctor who fucked the nurse. <laughs> um, Do he, we need uh, to eat him? He pulled me in real close because I'm a woman. And I need to talk my way out of this real quick. Can I just show Eric the art? Is sure. That a thing. Oh! So chat too. That is the face of ah oh. good times. Oh, hello. I'm Doctor Nice Guy. Chase. Doctor Chase. I'm Doctor Chase. I'm Doctor Chase. 
Okay. I like to choose All right, so you guys each have an uh, encounter. You may do yours. Yeah. I do not have an encounter. You don't. But you guys each have an action that you can do. So this is the time you do an action. I don't so, get to action. No, but you can move as an action. I could. Should I go to Infirmary C? What, here? Dr. James Nobeard. Yeah, let's let's pile in. Oh, you can eat. We can each roll, hey? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah come to C. Uh, send... These two. This, yeah, send these two to C. To C? D. Why and C? she'll go to C in case I need to eat someone. No, 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 no. I need... You need women here. All right, James, this, she also gets to do a roll. Okay. So, so. three dice. Uh, there's four shields on yeah, there? Yeah, four shields. Yeah, we should put those back on when you have a chance. You're going to get all four, though, so don't even bother. I would like to change three. that to one. So you can move three shields. Three shields. All right, that was one time unit as well. Uh, and then you guys can look at that one together. And then you may attempt this one again just while this is happening. Ah, uh, you again. I just ran into Dr. Hyacinth. That's a name. Hyacin. It's gonna cost a tiny unit. I just ran into Dr. Oh, Hyacin, who reminded me that he had an appointment with a small group today. His office isn't far, and you know the way. Go when you feel like it. Take item eight. What's item eight? It's not a plunger. We've discovered a new location, Dr. Hyacinth's office. So you place that here? That's a bad flower. So this symbol means on here, so you place it actually on the map in this bottom corner. What? Yeah, just over. Oh. This symbol means you keep it between runs, that blue symbol. So when you guys do another run, you'll start with his office. Nice. I cannot wait for the weird time warp light speed effect that happens. Oh, Justin's been back. saving up have, money for been. it. I've been he just money. pokes you in both eyes. <laughs> yeah, just slaps your ears and pokes <laughs> you in both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Uh, dormitory. I would laugh if he slapped you with both ears and blood just short of your nose. <laughs> and James is like, one bleeding no. eye. He's like, that was fucking sick! His like, eyes no. just hanging out like just that much. <laughs> Are you guys going to the dormitory? Yeah. James, why don't you roll that time? No, Eric's the captain. Eric time. rolls a TD. TD. So much better than three. Right, why don't you guys find the dormitory? You guys are actually going in order in the deck. That's so funny. That is what we have decided. Yeah. <laughs> Just go with whichever one's on top. <laughs> Still playing the game, though. Wherever we wake up, the board game is set up in front of us exactly well, where we're, we are. in those, like, uh, patient robes. Love it. Okay, we've got access. Oh, not that one. Not that one. That's location eight. Well, we gotta go there next. Yep. All right, uh, James, your time captain. Why don't you read Dormitory A? Dormitory A. Dormitory A. After walking a few minutes down the asylum's corridors, you enter the dormitory. It's a large room bordered by two rows of beds. At this time of day, only a few beds are occupied by apathetic patients who, between a few senseless mumbles, let out discreet snores. To the left, a patient calls to you from his bed. At the back of the room, lockers hold the personal belongings of the patients. And to the right, through the windows, you glimpse the large park on the east side of the building. A closer look might allow you to better scope out the surrounding area. Through the window! To the walls! Don't pause a time rift. That song's not out yet. <laughs> Um, well, I think we should collect our stuff in the back room, and we also have this unlocked. Do we? Yep. Why? So we can go to that one. Oh, we can just go there. Yeah. It's not revealed. Thank you, OC Brad. Okay. okay, well, she's glib, so she'll talk to the guy? Yeah. And these two mm -hmm. go to the unknown? To the unknown. And the cannibal goes and gets the stuff. I guess. Or anywhere else? No, the window can go seems kind of lame. They, they can split up. Why would we waste that time? Yeah, this guy, when he's alone, you lose time. Oh. Basket. That's his last name. Basket? Just so everybody knows. Yeah. Is that French? Yeah, everyone's French here. Are you not noticed? 
Oh my god. <laughs> Her last name is Jolly Boys. Oh my god. <laughs> Jolly Boys. All right, why do you guys, do you guys want to do the one you're sharing on together first? Yes. Sharing on together. Yeah. So I can... <laughs> Let's hurry because I know what will uh, I know what will happen to you. The doctor has gone insane. I have this letter that I found as proof, and Josephine isn't much better. No matter what happens, I'd rather know you to be free than dead. There's an entrance to the catacombs. Find it and flee as quickly as possible. She lowers her head and walks away from you, shocked by what she just did. I've got this whole terrible fear, and I'm going to go away now. <laughs> she moves like one of your characters when they're awkward. Um, takes items five and eighteen. You want five or eighteen? I want eighteen. Ha! February twelfth, nineteen twenty-one. Dear Professor, I've managed to gather the elements indispensable to the success of our project. In order to operate with the greatest discretion, I've identified five patients who should allow us to fulfill the conditions required by our plan. The crypt is accessible via the splash. To be faster, I've found a passage which allows us to reach the park from my office. Wait for them there to guide them to their destination. The great day is close. Dr. Hyacinth. Well, let's go to his office before we go to the catacombs. Je suis Napoleon. You guys can... Uh... Right. Just de Pamplemousse. I do like the Pamplemousse. I know two phrases in French. You've heard one of them. I know fenêtre, which is window. Nice. I know anglais, motherfucker. Parlez-vous? Is that English motherfucker? Do you speak it? Yep. Is that what the card reads? No, that's just me making a decision. Do you actually, OC Brad? Good on you. I'm trying to learn it, but I haven't actually started trying to learn it. But French I have... is the only subject I ever failed in school, and to this day I'm racist to the French because of grade five. This is a real thing. So what's happening on yours, James? I want to waste a lot of time on mine. I need to free this man to reveal. Yeah. And what was on yours, Eric? Uh, I, if I just keep smashing at these lockers, eventually we'll get something. I'm very strong. I'm it's strong. actually, unfortunately, this guy. Agility. Yeah. Oh. That's it? Yep. And that's a uh, agility as well. Yep. So I'm going to, because she can. Go for it. So this will cost you guys one time to do yeah, this. Yeah, one time to test do on your turn. Yes. These guys also have an action they can do. Do you want us to move there? Did we? We didn't even look at this. No. So what's up, people? You guys gonna go look out the window together? Yeah. What do you see, my French friend? Je suis, je suis, just Panetta. Oh, that actually is a window. Mon ami. <laughs> Mother. Are you going to attempt yours? Mother. Ooh. Yeah, I'm probably just going to as many time paradoxes as possible. I'm not going to stop there. So nothing so happens yet. I'm just yet. how that works. So I just got to oh. just hand me that card. No. And then you guys can look at this one. You get closer to the window, admiring the view of the park. You spot a large greenhouse and see inside it an animal. A blink of the eye later, the beast is gone. And the beast looked like an enormous winged cat. Truth? The or manticore. Hallucination. Yes, it is the manticore. We got two pieces of meat to feed the manticore. <gasps> the manticore is a kind of chimera, which means they're either feeding it patients or making it out of patients. Oh, fuck, flesh golems. Would you guys like to spend another time unit here? Yes. yes. All right, you guys might all do actions with your characters. Can we go here now? We yeah. gotta, we gotta knock down these doors. Well, I can't, but yes. Yeah, but you're just here to carry me. Well, you actually, you'll have somebody there, so you don't need that person. I know, but in case I fail again. Okay. Yeah. I, he's carrying me. I am. Yeah. What's your name? Eugene Basquiat. Oh, Eugene. Mm. Not all French people are gay. 
That's how they say hello, though. Mm -hmm. That's Italy. That's no, also that's racist mm -hmm. on both yeah. counts. But good job. I'm allowed to be racist to Italy. <sighs> that's the thing about racism. You might be allowed, but it's still not it's good. Still, it's bad. still <laughs> racism. Yeah. Oh. oh, Lord. Give me a hard time. Do you want to do some tests here? Start with cannibal? Yep. Who knows? Are you going to keep going? Yep. Start right, you with... You want to do Eugene? Yep, but don't, doesn't he have to move? He doesn't get an action now. Yeah, there, yeah, there yeah. we go. And then I'm going to roll from... Oh, no, no. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, so you have to spend it another time? Wait, we Wait. spent a time to move yeah. Yeah, so and then do the actions, and yeah. now we're spending another time. Yeah, and that's the time you just moved. Yes. Yeah. Yes! You want them all? Eugene Buschetti. So, now you reveal this one, right? Or yes. Do you move oh. to Immediately reveal. That's... I can't read that to him. No. Fuck. Did he go mad? Can I eat him? <gasps> I can. I'm going to eat him. Come back. So my character goes here yes. immediately? Yeah. Okay. Reveal it so you can just look oh. face up. Yes. You said they'd never know. He's a madman and a liar. James. Yes. I found the plunger. A rupee. Give me item four. I found a piece of paper with scribbled symbols. Here's the transcription. And I found a plunger. Fantastic. We need to go to Moon Dance. He's gonna turn out also angry. Thank you. We're gonna. We're gonna. So this guy has not taken an action. What, what can he do? He can move here to help fight. Oh. So now you guys want to spend another action? Yes. Can, can I? I? Can I? No, both your people did a test. So this action you but, can move. Yeah. But... Yeah, so this one now you can, but you won't get an action window in this yeah, fight. Yeah, I get it. Who's fighting first? Her. You sure you want to do that? If you roll a skull, you'll take damage. You should have the stronger guy oh. go first. Yeah, and he can't finish him off anyways. Yes, he can. Nope. One or two shields, he's paralyzed oh. and unable to fight. So you deal two damage. Should I take one? No. So how it works is you deal two damage. Yeah. And then the enemy reposts. <laughs> so you count the skulls that you have on your dice and the amount of skull shields. And take two damage. No, if it is greater oh. than your... If it's, I think, equal to or greater, I'll just check. You take damage. So you take no damage. Okay. Eugene's Boschetti. Would you like to have the girl fight? Mm-hmm. Moon Tower magic, motherfucker. Yeah, so it has to be greater than your resistance. Okay. Ah! She takes no damage. Oh, greater than. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you want to spend another time unit? You have to. You now are all stuck yeah. fighting this guy. Can she? Go first, yeah. She can fight first. So that's one, two, three, because I got the croquet Because I can't fight him anymore. This guy can't fight, no. He doesn't want to see somebody die. So then the cannibal comes in. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. four. So you take one damage. That's and good. who wants to fight next? The your guy, Eugene. No, order. I'll fight again. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, she could have eaten him and regained that. All right, what do you guys want to do now? We've only got so much time left. Do so you... I say we go double back to the areas. Do we want to potentially end the game, hand him off the plunger, not solve the mystery of the strange place? Because we could potentially finish this in a single run. No. He's so cute when he's trying to stop us. I know. Let's roll some ones here. For yeah. yeah. What if we just tell you what the mystery is? Go for it. The chimera isn't real. You'll have to wait and see. Fuck! <laughs> um, do we want to go to Dr. Hyacinth's office, or do we want to go to the catacombs entrance? Uh, I would say Hyacinth's office, but I want to go back and do the plunger first. Let's do the plunger first, then. Yeah. Alright. Why don't you roll that time die time, Captain? Which one of us is that? That's you. you. Right now. 
Me right now? Yeah, because you read this one. Dose. Boom, boom. You can't stop us. I'm really waiting for that ear slap and high poke. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, promenade. Uh, you don't need to read the A again. You guys know what's It just there. gets progressively more violent every time we have to reset. Next time he sticks his fingers up our nose, too. Oh. Bob said it would take fucking money and time. <laughs> Um, the fourth time he's holding now, jaws Now, you have open. this one as well, right? So, do you want to try P24? and... P24? Don't we have... You guys can't look that you've been there. Oh, sorry. The guards, dancing man is moonstep, need key six, and glib sex lady persuade the guards. You yeah. have key six. No, I don't. Key six was on the belt of the, the guys who shot us out of the kitchen. Which we needed the cocaine for, so I guess we have no, a plan for our next run. No, we the cocaine for the ham. We just... Right, we just need to try again. Yeah. Speed run. All right, where do you guys want to go? Uh, moon dance. <laughs> All right, let's reveal and read moon dance. Unless you wanted to... No, let's do it. If you own item four, you can immediately reveal pink. I read that out loud, Eric. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. The man <laughs> drags you to an isolated corner of the promenade, demanding that you walk backwards while sliding your feet through the gravel as you go. He stops once he reaches a circle drawn on the ground. Okay, now we place the artifact in the center. Then we do the moon step. Come on, all together. And now we wait. You can spend five time and immediately reveal that one. If we go to zero, we... Oh, we've got one left. No, this is... It wouldn't hit this. So we could... Do this and then not get anything. I don't think, yeah, I don't think you guys have enough time to spend. I think you can spend all five of your time, but there's not enough. Let me look it up. The rule books is very vague, unfortunately. Because I would at least like to see what was under there. <laughs> we need the cocaine. We don't have five time. No, we have four. That's true. We literally do not have. You don't have the, we don't have the time for you right now. Well, I guess we're coming back to that guy. Yeah, let's go to the Hyacinth's office and see what we can see. All right. Or do you want to go to the catacombs? No, let's do Hyacinth's office. He might just kill us anyways. Time, Captain. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right, Eric, why don't you pull out location eight? Hey, it's the next one. <laughs> James, why don't you read that as well while he's setting up? Please. So this symbol means everyone needs to be on it. Well, we'll probably get there. You make your way into the office wing of the asylum, trying many locked doors before finding the one whose plaque soberly announces Dr. Hyacinth. You hear the staccato sound of a clumsily used typewriter, and when it pauses after a few seconds, you knock on the door. Enter! Calls out a voice. You enter a vast office filled with objects of all sorts. To your left, the bookshelf holds numerous medical tomes and other curios. On the wall, a picture of the staff catches your eye. Sitting at his desk, the doctor looks up uh, from his typewriter and stares at you. Oh my goodness, you are literally carrying him. Paralyzing delusion, be careful with my legs. You are literally carrying me. It's okay, Eugene. Where are we going? I feel like you and me need to go to the doctor. Is that what location D is? Yeah, there he is. I was looking for him. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay. that's what no, I... You guys can each read them now together. That's what I feel. Yeah, that's a thing. Do we get to keep that? No. What are these symbols? What are these symbols, Eric? Give me that. Yeah. Give me that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, vol. Nothing uh, adds up. Nothing adds up. But five. I have a funny story about this card. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. What? No. Because the first time we played this game... Um, Planning on it, Brad. We we the, when we played this game, Mike, Caitlin, and I we didn't take notes. So 
we were just like, let's challenge ourselves. Our characters wouldn't have notepads, right? So we couldn't feasibly take notes. Um, <laughs> and to memorize this card, I came up with a collection of, like, a phrase, like an anagram just from the symbols. And Mike was like, how do you fucking remember this? Do we lose our items when we go back? You lose everything that doesn't have this symbol. Oh. Well, we'll know to go and... Yeah, basically now you know where to not waste time. Yeah, right. we'll go and smash up the dormitory to get the plunger. We also still have to get the key. I don't remember where you got 24 from. That was the first room, the day room. And I need to go talk to Meat Man. What is key 24 good for? It's the nose candy. Oh yeah, which we don't really need. No. Yet, we don't know. And I'm going to be sad when I lose my croquet mallet. Um, but we some found, oh, key six is in the kitchen. So next round, my goal is to do the plunger and see the key. Whatever else happens, happens. Yeah. What does this one say, Jane? Oh, this next one. Yeah. Derek, why don't you read that one while James is looking at this picture? Location so you can okay, because I'm going to write down the picture. I don't think there's... I think there's a lot of meaning there. Greetings. The doctor calls out to you. As I told you yesterday, the moment of your release is upon us. Remember this. Each in their own point of the star. He heads to his bookcase, opening a secret passage, then lights a lamp and says, I'm waiting for you. You can follow him and take the token, or beat him up and reveal the blue. <laughs> Let's beat him up. We got no time left. He won't remember. We are the worst fighters in our group. Uh, no. I'm the best. Is there anything you want to do with this? Ah, uh, yes. Give me a moment. Can so, I swing one, at him? Two, well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing while he's doing that. Sure. Tiny unit. I'm gonna punch his lights out. P -p -p punch. Three damage. No damage to you. This guy can no longer swing. And we... No, you have to kill. He has one shield left. Oh! That's right. Leave it to the leave it to the man who can't walk. Come on. Well, I Do you want to swing right now, man who can't walk? You just have one die. Take a swing. Nope. He's fine. What are these guys doing? I assume they're moving in here? Yeah. Sorry. It's fine. We'll just go down to zero and then immediately reset. Mission fail time units. Oh, we can only fail a number of times? You don't know. It's your mission. You'll find out if you... This is just mission fail time units. Do you guys want to fight again? Yeah. Go for it. I can't swing. Oh, that's right. But I'll punch him with my lady. <laughs> no hits. No hits. Eric, make the cannibal eat her. Eat him, the doctor. It'll give me his brain and strength. Oh. Just put Washburn outside. He'll walk himself. It's true. And then he'll never return. So we lose this, too? Yep. Oh, I didn't write it down. What do you mean? Here, well then, give me. Yeah. Uh, quickly sc scribble that down. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna eat this, man. Croquet mallet away! He kills you. Lady! He kills you. She's dead. Yeah. So, she goes there. Time is wasted. This guy may attempt to try to kill him. Right. He does it. So you immediately reveal this one. Yep. Which is the fight is over with you have knocked uh, knocked the doctor uh, through the secret passage in the bookcase and down a shaft hidden in there. His body lies broken and bloodied at the base of the ladder down to oh, the shaft. Oh, we were just gonna beat him up. You did. But he's broken and bloodied. The, the bath is now open to you. Take it. Take the token and item twenty three. So we'll reveal twenty three and then time is it. So you guys can see what this is. Secret passage, but you do not get to keep it. Yes. So this is going to go back in the deck. Oh! Yeah. It's not a blue. It's not a blue? It's not a blue. 
Okay. So now these So are you guys have a time zero? Yeah, I'll let this slide because it's your first mission and apparently a bit of adaptation time is always needed, but for the next run, gang, you need to put in more effort. It's not only your rank that's in play here, but also my reputation. Come on, let's get back to it. Don't waste time and use your brain cells. You're still young. For the next run, keep in mind that your rank will depend on your performance. Leave the items stamped with this in place and everything else comes back to me. Uh, so we're, are we actually supposed to be able to complete these in one run? It's... I've never seen it happen. Like, because there's another round after this, right? Yeah. After the asylum? Uh, it took us three to do this one. Okay. Uh, it takes on average... We did one of them in two, and we felt great. Um, so leave the items stamped. Other games are discarded, so you guys lose... You guys go back here. Read uh, G and F again. So what you guys can do is... You guys can change your characters if you want, or you can stay for the next ones. In the meantime, on YouTube, we're just going to cancel this recording and start part two right away.